Boeing is finally moving towards delivery of the first 787 to launch customer all Nippon Airways of Japan, possibly as early as July. The troubled program has been on a roller coaster ride which entered a new phase two years ago at the last Paris Air Show. It was then that plans for the imminent first flight were abruptly postponed by the discovery of structural weakness in the wing body join. With the redesign underway, Boeing announced in August 2009 that first flight would be by year end, with first delivery in the fourth quarter of 2010. Longer term, it also outlined plans to boost production to 10 per month by 2013 and officially confirmed North Charleston, South Carolina as the location for a second final assembly, test and delivery site. The wing body fix was approved late in the year, and despite marginal weather conditions, the 787 finally became airborne for the first time on December 15, 2009. The second aircraft, ZA002, made its first flight a week later, but a systems glitch prompted the crew to use the alternate gear extension system. The issue was an ominous sign of bigger challenges to come. In March 2010, Boeing revealed it was eating into its flight test contingency buffer, and the next month announced the first of several temporary holds of the Everett production line because of problems with unfinished work. Further delays were incurred through inspections of stabilizers and instrumentation issues on ZA004, and by July, Boeing acknowledged the cumulative effect could push back first delivery into early 2011. However, on August 2, 2010, a Trent 1000 engine destined for the first production 787 suffered an uncontained failure on a Rolls-Royce indoor test site in the UK. As a result, Boeing announced first deliveries would now slide to around mid-February 2011. But any hopes this was the end of the problems were dashed just days later when on September 10th, ZA001 suffered an engine surge during tests at Roswell, New Mexico. Although it was quickly determined the failure would be corrected with upgraded software, the surge punched a week-long hole in the test program. Then, just as the test program seemed to be recovering, it encountered its most serious incident yet. At Laredo, Texas, on November 9th, a fire broke out inside a power distribution panel on ZA002. Investigations showed a short circuit occurred in an electrical control box that relayed power from the engine generators. The fire unearthed unsuspected issues with the more electric 787 systems and prompted an urgent redesign of the power distribution hardware and software. All flight tests were halted while round-the-clock recovery work went on. And on December 23rd, ZA004 became the first to return to flight with an interim software load, clearing the way for the resumption of certification tests on January 17, 2011. The following day, Boeing announced 787 deliveries would now begin in the third quarter of 2011. Since then, the test effort has progressed smoothly, with all aircraft performing well and systems proving rugged and reliable. By early May, with more than 3,700 test hours accumulated and certification in sight, it seems the true age of the Dreamliner is about to begin. Music